Hi, this is Sabri from Technoblog and today I'm going to introduce you Apple's brand new product iPad 2. Uh, as you know, iPad 2 was introduced uh, in the beginning of uh, this month and uh, it was started to be shipped uh, in US uh, on the 11th of March. After two weeks, last Friday, uh, 25 other countries uh, has just been added to the list, uh, including UK, uh, Germany, France, uh, Spain, Canada, and uh, we are waiting for the list to be uh, expanded in the uh, following months. Uh, we hope uh, that we hope that uh, Turkey would be in the list, and uh, we are waiting for iPad 2 in Turkey. Uh, before the summer uh, yet iPad 2 hasn't been shipped uh, around here uh, we can manage to get uh, one unit uh, thanks to a friend of us uh, let's start uh, for the review uh, as you can see iPad 2 has a 9.7 inches LED backlit display uh, this screen offers 1024 times 768 uh, pixel resolution uh, the screen is just similar uh, to the one that uh, the original iPad uh, has um, but uh, the screen hasn't changed but you can see the uh, design changes radical design changes uh, in the back panel as you can see the back panel uh, has been uh, flat uh, the original iPad's uh, black, uh, back panel was a bit curved uh, as you can see on the edges and corners there is a, a curved design uh, the buttons has been uh, redesigned again and the uh, speaker has been also changed for a different design uh, on the bottom you can see the 30 pin uh, connector dock connector as usual and you can see the Apple logo uh, as we can see this on all iOS devices uh, there's a home button uh, just uh, below the screen uh, on the uh, above of the screen you will see the FaceTime camera this is a VGA quality camera uh, that offers uh, video recording capabilities and uh, still photo uh, capturing also uh, the video quality is uh, so so but uh, the uh, still quality the picture quality is not uh, very good uh, for this camera and when we look at the back side uh, you will see uh, another camera this camera is capable of taking 720p uh, 30 frame per second uh, HD videos and also this camera isn't uh, so good taking uh, capturing still images. Uh, on the right side of the uh, tablet you will see the uh, lock switch, screen lock switch or the mute uh, switch. You can uh, set the functionality of this switch in the settings uh, and there's uh, the volume buttons. When we look at the right hand side, uh, left hand side of the tablet, you can see it's uh, very clean. But if you uh, buy a, a Wi Fi 3G model, you will see a, a micro SIM card uh, tray here on the left side. iPad 2 uh, has an Apple A5 uh, dual core uh, CPU. Uh, this uh, dual core CPU gives iPad 2 uh, two times more uh, CPU performance and nine times more uh, graphic performance. Uh, iPad 2 has uh, 512 megabytes of RAM and it's coming with uh, three different uh, storage uh, choices. 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes or uh, 64 gigabytes. Uh, you can select uh, one of them. Let's compare this uh, iPad uh, 2 with the original model. Uh, we have an original iPad. Uh, when you look at these two uh, products, you will see, look at the screen bezels. Uh, you will see that the screen bezel from on the left and right edge, uh, you will see iPad 2 uh, has a thinner bezel on the left and on the right. As you see, uh, iPad 1's bezel is a bit thick, thicker. When we put them uh, together, you will 
uh, easily understand the difference uh, as you can see uh, iPad 2 is significantly uh, thinner than the original iPad you can see the uh, curved design on the original iPad on the back uh, this uh, curved design has been removed on the uh, second generation iPad and uh, as a result of these uh, design changes iPad 2 can be easily hold in hand and you can uh, pick it to everywhere easily it's uh, it's it's become a, a much more uh, comfortable product iPad 2 comes with iOS 4.3 uh, uh, software and you can see there are uh, some uh, iPad specific applications loaded uh, onto the device there's a FaceTime application uh, which is being used for uh, making video calls with uh, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4G, Mac uh, devices or uh, iPad 2s all you have to do is adding a contact either uh, taking uh, adding the email uh, address or the phone number and first of all you have to activate the FaceTime uh, functionality by using this uh, settings you have to enter the settings menu and you have to write your Apple ID uh, email and password there's a photo boot application which is using iPads, uh, iPad 2's uh, front and back cameras you can, uh, you can select uh, one of these uh, effects and you can have uh, funny times you can enjoy this product, this uh, application uh, there is also uh, a camera application uh, for taking uh, videos or uh, still images by using the uh, conventional uh, iOS uh, camera applications uh, user interface and you can uh, buy GarageBand or uh, iMovie applications from Apple Store uh, by paying uh, $4.99 and these applications are making iPad 2's usage uh, much more funnier we can say that iPad 2 is coming uh, with two uh, newest accessories uh, one of them is uh, smart cover as you see uh, this uh, smart cover uh, covers uh, the uh, screen of iPad 2 uh, it doesn't offer any uh, protection uh, for the back panel so uh, it makes uh, it easier to scratches it makes it open to the scratches the smart cover uh, for iPad 2 is uh, is so practical as you can see you can put it in a triangular form and use it as a stand uh, for writing or for watching uh, movies it uh, offers a good functionality for this uh, usage but and also smart cover uh, has microfiber uh, on the inside so uh, it cleans your uh, screen iPad 2 screen uh, when it's uh, closed and there is a, a functionality uh, embedded into the iOS 4.3 uh, if you open uh, the cover you will see that uh, the screen uh, wakes up and if you close it the screen sleeps again you can uh, hear the click sound and that's a good functionality you can uh, close or open this functionality using the iPad 2's uh, settings screen uh, this uh, switch uh, will open or close uh, this uh, functionality and a uh, smart cover uh, sticks to iPad 2 uh, via uh, a magnetic field here uh, you, you there there is a magnet here and this is a uh, strong magnet and this magnet uh, sticks to iPad 2 perfectly uh, when you
put the smart cover uh, near iPad 2. Uh, this magnetic, you can uh, feel the magnetic field, and when you leave it uh, free, you will see that this uh, smart cover uh, is sticking to iPad 2 properly. As you can see, uh, it's fit uh, properly. Uh, no, uh, any problem we can see on the smart covers. All perfect. Other than uh, the smart covers, uh, there's a, a digital audio video adapter. This uh, adapter offers a HDMI output uh, for iPad 2. Uh, it offers up to 1080p uh, video uh, output. And also there is a dock connector here, uh, so you can uh, charge your iPad 2 uh, while uh, reflecting your iPad 2's uh, screen to a HDTV or another display uh, near your iPad 2. And this is the one, uh, this is the part that connects uh, to your iPad's uh, 30 pin dock connector. Smart cover. Uh, it has different uh, choices, uh, po uh, polyurethane ch uh, options and leather options. Polyurethane options uh, has, uh, is being offered uh, from uh, $39. Uh, the leather uh, options uh, are being offered uh, from $69. And this uh, accessory uh, is on sale uh, from uh, $39. Uh, in all Apple stores in US. To sum up, uh, the design changes and the hardware changes in iPad 2 uh, are important. Uh, everybody uh, would welcome uh, those changes, but it would be better if uh, the screen uh, has, uh, if the screen uh, had uh, so had seen some changes, it would be uh, much more better. Uh, all in all, iPad 2 is a good product and you should put uh, this tablet uh, to the top of your uh, tablet uh, shopping list. That's all for today from Technoblog. See you in another video.